Right, so here I have a Bordeaux, a claret as we like to call it in the UK. It's from the Medoc region of Bordeaux. And in this hand, I have a Bordeaux. It's from the Pomerol region of Bordeaux. This one is from the right bank of the river and this one's from the left bank. This one costs five pounds. This one costs 50 pounds. Now I could quite literally spend all day telling you about the subtle differences between these wines, but to be honest, is that important? I'm sure all we wanna know is which one tastes best and is it worth the money? So I went down to Tesco's today and bought this scarily cheap bottle of wine. That's never satisfying. I also have this. Much better. Okay, so I'm gonna stick some of this 2017 Pomerol in there and some of this um, non-disclosed aged claret in here. Now, as you'd probably expect, they do look pretty similar. The majority of wines produced in Bordeaux will either be Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon. It tends to be that the left bank is more Cabernet Sauvignon and the right bank is more Merlot, although that's not really a rule. But anyway, let's start with this. I think it's £5.90, I think that's what it was. Now, okay, the, let's just check the old ABV, the alcohol level on this, 13.5. Sometimes it can be a useful rule of thumb that low alcohol ones tend to be poor quality. Uh, again, it's not really a rule, it's just a rule of thumb. Um, I'm just letting it open up. It, to be honest, it smells pretty decent. Hmm. It definitely smells a lot better than I expected it to for a fiver. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, well. The tannins are not balanced. The tannins are very heavy. It doesn't have a lot of fruit. And it's a little thin but it's way better than I expected it to be. I'll be 100% honest with you. I could genuinely drink this wine. You know, I had this idea of me doing some sort of theatrical spitting it out, but no, that's all right. So here we go. The 50 pound bottle. It's actually near a 60, to be honest. It's very difficult to explain how two things with such similar flavors can taste so different. Because even though ostensibly we're talking about the exact same thing, the balance of this wine is so different. It doesn't have that super strong tannic that burns your mouth. It's much more fruity, I'm getting Real red cherry kind of flavours. It's quite soft and it's quite thick in the mouth. Basically, I think it's best to describe that the other one, I could happily drink it and I would have no 
Oh, that the length of this is really good. It just keeps getting better. Um, I could happily drink the other one. It's not an issue. I wouldn't. <clears throat> if I went to a dinner party and someone gave it to me, I wouldn't feel hard done by. This, however, this is a wine that you would go out of your way to drink. Now, I've gone for one that's 10 times the price of the first one. And the difference is very big. To be honest, you could go in the middle and go for a sort of 20 pound bottle of wine. And then I think you'd find the difference between a 20 pound bottle of wine and a 50 pound bottle of wine is relatively small incrementally. But No, that's just beautiful. I kind of wish I could tell you there wasn't a difference, but there is a big difference. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to democratise wine to you right now and say, ah, oh, the five pound one's just as good, but I would only be lying. But I have got good news. What I have here is a 1996 Saint-Julien. So it's also from the Medoc region of Bordeaux. And this is probably about £500 a bottle, give or take. So it's 10 times as much as this one. And 100 times as much as this one. And what's really, I'm not gonna open this today. I'm sorry, I love you guys, but I'm not opening this bottle just to make a point. I'm saving this for a very special occasion. But what I will say is the difference between these two bottles is surprisingly small. This is better, but it's nowhere near as stark a contrast as between these two. So the best bit of advice I can give to you when it comes to choosing wine is buy the best one you can afford. Never go for the cheapest one on the shelf. Like I say, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought. Oh, you just can't go back to it. Like, it was all right trying that one first, but you just can't go back to it. I'm sorry, you just, let's go down the sink. But, what, uh, but anyway, um, don't go for the cheapest. I mean, that was basically the cheapest French wine in Tesco's. Don't go for that. If you can afford to spend maybe £15, £20, you'll get something very, very drinkable. If you can afford £50, you'll get something excellent. And if you can afford £500, you'll get something that's a little bit better than the £50 one. And if you can afford to spend £5,000, you'll get one that's pretty much the same as the £500 one. So I think in your return graph, you'll see it's really diminishing returns as it goes up. So, vive la revolution. Didn't say that very well, did I? Vive la Ravis, vive, vive, vive la, re, the revolution, it, it's, you know, we're all equal and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, bottoms up, enjoy.